Bucha. Of course, the partners are trying to convince the terrorist state to slow down the blackmail a little. But is this realistic? So far, the facts indicate that the Russian leadership is more interested in escalating the food crisis than in implementing the signed documents. And, by the way, this is the answer to all those who talk about negotiations with Russia. The Grain Corridor is a very specific example. There are now 218 proofs that Russia does not want any real deals. 218 ships are waiting for the opportunity to carry food under export contracts or enter Ukrainian ports. Week after week, Russia has slowed down the Grain Corridor, despite its promise to partners, and has now blocked it completely. In Chornomorsk port, another ship chartered by the UN food program was loaded. It is a Balka, carrying 40,000 tonnes of wheat on board for Ethiopia, the country which is going through a very painful situation with food. Ethiopia is on the brink of starvation. It is a problem not only of rising food prices, but also of physical food shortage. We are ready to release this ship into the sea, like all others that left the ports of Greta Odessa during the Grain Export Initiative. But this Balka, with wheat for the UN food program and other ships with agricultural products, are forced to wait because Russia is blackmailing the world with hunger. Russia is the only one to blame for the fact that food will now become more expensive for people across a vast expanse, from West Africa to East Asia. Russia is the reason why people, in particular in Ethiopia, Yemen or Somalia, are left with a catastrophic food shortage.